Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're looking at a new feature that's been added recently with software updates to a range of Garmin watches that adds a new activity called Ultra Run. And within this new activity, Ultra Run, we have a great new feature which does a rest setting for when you're doing a big event and you want to stop your GPS track recording so you don't get data when you say inside a building and it's trying to lock onto satellites and of course use more battery as it does that but you want to keep a timer going so you know how long you've been running or walking for it could be you're on a timed event where you've got 24 hours to finish you may come to a checkpoint where you stop you may be a rest asleep you may go into that checkpoint for an hour the nice thing is when you use this new feature it'll actually keep the timer going so when you come out of that checkpoint it'll show that you've rested in there for an hour but it turns off the GPS recording while it does that so you don't get incorrect data on the distance that you've traveled so we're just going to show you that new feature now Garmin have got it on a big range of watches now they've added with recent set software updates we've got it on the Enduro series the Epix Gen 2 series the Phoenix 6 and 7 the Forerunner 255 and 955 the Tactics 7 Tactics Delta and the mark collection so they've added it on a big range of watches so within the gps training we stock and sell the phoenix 7 and the epix 2 watches so this feature is on both of these watches i'm using the epix 2 today as a demonstration to show you this feature so if i press the start stop button once i can see i've already added ultra run as an activity so you normally get the option when you scroll using your down button to add a new activity and then you can add ultra run once you've done your software update on your watch so if i now go to ultra run and then hold the middle left hand button with the white line to the side of ultra run middle left hand button held in then lets me go into ultra run settings press the start stop to go into the settings and i'm just going to use the down button to scroll down to the option for auto rest and pause this is the new setting and i'm just going to show you how we've set it up and why so if i go into this setting it says trigger when stopped now trigger when stopped means it'll automatically detect that i've stopped running or walking and automatically pause the gps recording but keep the timer going and the action is it's going to record a rest now you have got an option on the action where it's actually pausing the activity but we prefer to actually record the rest split and show how long you've rested for um, on the actual screen so we tend to use record rest split and if i just go back to the trigger where it says when stopped you have got an option here to custom set when you go below a certain pace or you can turn it off and that means you manually stop it using the back button which i'm going to show you rather than the automatic but for the minute i'm just going to leave that on when stopped and come out of the screen and go down now to sorry just hit the back button to come back out of there once more i'm now going to go down to another button that we tend to change when we're using this feature it's the lap key so normally the lap key the bottom back button every time you press it it will show that you've done a lap now normally on this type of event like an ultra event you wouldn't want it recording a lap so we set the lap key to rest only that means it's actually manually allows you to start the rest rather than waiting for the watch to automatically stop that's really useful if you have set the rest feature so i'm just actually going to go back to the rest feature and because we're inside and we're not actually doing an event what i'll actually do on this rest feature i'm going to set it to the manual trigger so if i set that to off rather than it automatically stopping is the trigger we can better show you the back button that we use to do this function so that's the settings we're changing so we'll come back out of there so if i was now doing an ultra run event start stop at the top of the screen select my ultra run when i get a satellite signal ready to start i'll get the green bar and it'll buzz to say i've got a satellite signal at the top what i can do if i've got a course loaded for the event i'm doing i can hold the middle left hand button in scroll down to navigation select navigation scroll down to courses and select the course that i want to do select do course and then it'll load the route map and a course ready to follow normally when you're outside you'll be waiting for a satellite signal you'd get the green bar along the top and then when you're ready to go 
got the satellite signal you'd press your start stop you've got your navigation on the screen and of course you can scroll down various data boxes that you set up to how you want the ultra run screens to be but i'm going to show you now this rest feature so you can see here the time is going the timer is going um just show you some of the screens we've got set up here various screens we've got set up but the main thing is we've got a timer going so what happens now if I because I've turned off the trigger as off if I come to a rest station and I'm going to stop and I want to stop the recording but keep the timer going if I hit the back button once now you'll see timers going and it's now recording how long I've rested for so it's recording how long I've rested for but we've got the timer going when I'm then ready to go again press the back button and it starts again and then the recording starts the activity recording and if I come to another rest station a few hours down the line I can manually do the same again timer's still going so I know how long I've been going for but it records this how long I've rested for and then the back button to come out just a reminder though if I go into the settings again and you don't want to manually do it we have got the option in the ultra run settings if I scroll down to that rest setting auto rest and pause we can rather than having it where we've got the sorry I've just went into the wrong one there I've realized auto rest and pause next one down whereas we got the trigger off if I select that as when stopped what would happen now is as you're running or walking doing your ultra event when you actually stop normally it takes about six seconds ten seconds it will then bring in the rest period and start the rest timer and then as you start moving again within sort of six ten seconds and it senses you're running or walking again it will start again but i know some people prefer to do this function manually as long as you remember you have got to use that back button to restart or stop it so I hope you found this video useful on using the new rest feature found in the Ultra Run activity on a Garmin compatible watch and thanks for watching.